In this video, see how the garden stakes were covered in mosaic and grouted. Our armature forms were cut from polystyrene, prepared with a proper mounting mechanism, covered in AR mesh, and thinset. Now it is time to mosaic. Using thinset as my adhesive, I began doing the sides first. I wanted to set a tone for the design, and for me, starting this way just made sense. The mosaic is bulky and awkward to maneuver. For the disc, I used a combination of glass and ceramic tiles, and I really enjoyed using materials that did not require much cutting. Also, I wanted the back of the disc to be different from the front. These glass materials are called sweeties and are made from recycled glass. I'm using crazy pavers, mini bars, polka dots, and mini rounds. You can find purchasing details in the description below. So I'm gonna grout these two discs, right? These are my uh, garden stakes. I'm gonna grout them the same color in just kind of a neutral gray. And I'll show you some nifty tricks for when you have a dimensional object like this with weird big grout lines like this has, how to keep things like this clean. A great trick to protect your pole channel is to plug it with a paper towel or a straw while you're grouting. A helpful trick when grouting was to use a plastic shoe box. I used the box to rest the disc on so air could pass all around it while the grout was curing. The box also served to help prevent accidentally damaging the materials. When grout lines are wide, like on these pieces, the cure time for your grout will be longer than smaller grout spaces. I am really pleased with how these garden stakes turned out. I'm not going to candy coat it. They took many steps, but well worth it as they are solid constructions and will grace my garden for years to come. And remember, life's a mosaic. You pick the pieces.